Hey fellow YouTubers, JJ the Trucker coming to you from Bowling Green, Kentucky. It's a worn out JJ the Trucker. I gotta tell you, woo, the low gods uh, are no longer mad at me. <laughs> That's for sure. They are smiling upon me, but man, it means it has been busy. And my fleet manager, he is on fire with these loads. So, uh, I mean, I can't even tell you where I've been over this last week. Let me turn that vent down. Maybe you can hear me a little better. Oh, man, these, uh, it's just been one after another after another. Now, since I have been so busy, um, I've been running really, really low on my hours. So I'm running on recaps, but they've been full days and then light days, full days. So um, even the, the days that I've been low on hours, have been okay because they've been, you know, days where I've had to wait on shippers and receivers, uh, you know, getting loaded, unloaded, um, you know, things like that. But a lot of dropping hooks, man. And let me tell you about these last few loads. And this is uh, this is my, my fleet manager just being on top of it. Uh, so my fleet manager apparently does not like a home time counter just sitting there waiting for him to take action. I'm assuming that when there's a home time counter, which basically means, you know, I've, I've requested home time or I've requested time off at a specific location. Uh, and I told him, I said, you know, I, I want to go to Springfield, Missouri at the terminal. Um, target date is the 7th. The, you know, dates are flexible. Earliest I want to be there is the 4th, but really I want to be there as close to the 7th as, as we can. And the whole point of that is, you know, I've got to pick up mail, as I mentioned. I want to pick up that, uh, that um, you know, thing that I got to install in the truck that I'm having custom made for me that I'll tell you about in another video. Uh, you know, and, and uh, maybe, you know, a couple days off would be nice at this point because, whew, it's been busy. Um, and so he's been trying to get me there, like, <laughs> ever since. I told him this, like, two weeks ago. And uh, I'm like, no, it's too early. Keep me out. All right. So he keeps routing me through and keeping me in the Midwest, which has been great. You know, the Midwest is a good region to be running, you know, money-wise. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I had to keep telling him, no, I'm not. I'm, it's not It's not even the 4th yet. Earliest is the 4th. No sooner than the 4th. So he's like, all right, no problem. Keep running. <laughs> um, so... This load that I'm on right now, uh, let me go back uh, to tell you about this load. Let me t go back a load. Um, it was uh, these, these have all been day hoppers, which again, the day hoppers are like one day loads. You pick it up one day, you deliver it either later on that day or the very next day. And uh, so I picked up the load before this, um, which had already been pre planned pretty early. Uh, picked it up and I hadn't even finished the pickup at the shipper i had just hooked up to the trailer and uh hadn't even sent in the trailer inspection notice or the you know anything and i get the pre-plan for this load that i'm on right now i'm like man i think that's the earliest i've ever gotten a pre-plan you know man that's early so uh, and it was a good load another uh, drop and hook uh and this one I was going to have time on, finally, something with time, because the load that I was currently on, that I was picking up, uh, delivered the following morning, and the new load did not pick up. It was a drop and hook, but it didn't pick up until, it was scheduled for between 11 and midnight the following day. So I was like, all right, and it's only, you know, 20 minutes away from the delivery site, so, uh, so I figured, okay, I'll deliver in the morning drive 20 minutes down to the uh, the new shipper and I'll have the rest of the day to just chill and relax and maybe you know pop out a YouTube video or maybe even go live that would be awesome so I do that I make the delivery head on over to the uh, the new shipper and I'm there at like noon okay a full 11 hours early and they say, wow, this is the earliest I've ever seen. And I'm thinking this, I'm thinking, I'm, I'm finishing their sentence. Oh, this is the earliest I've ever seen a truck driver get there. No, this is the earliest I've ever seen a load ready. 
I'm like, what? I'm like, yeah, the load's already ready for you. It's, it wasn't supposed to be ready until 11 p.m., but it's it's already ready. So there it is. Go go pick it up. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. Wow. Load gods smiling upon me. Everything had been going right, man. Everything had been just going perfectly good. So I'll go ahead and uh, hook up to that trailer. I'm like, man, all right, well, now I'll still have plenty of free time because I get to go and, and make this new delivery, and I'll be super early for this delivery. And this is the load I'm on right now. I'll be super early for this delivery, even though it's a drop and hook, kind of open-ended. I can get there as early as I want. But I've got pretty much all day. You know, let me go ahead and just take my time with it. Might as well. Nope. As soon as I do that, and I and I hit the road, bang, bang, two messages come in in a row on my Qualcomm. And anytime you see two messages come in in a row, um, that that means one thing. <laughs> Usually, it's another pre-plan. Uh, pre-plans are two messages. It's the the trip and then the the, the money that's associated with it. Oh man, look at this. We're slowing down because look at the slow prime drivers, man. These prime drivers are just so slow. Man. Oh man, all right. I'm kidding, of course. He's choosing to go slow. He's going uh, about 60, so. They're going 60, that's by choice, because you can, you know, even the company drivers can go 62 on cruise control. Um, I tried slowing down in this thing, by the way, in the Pete. It just doesn't work out. I, I tried going 60. It just, it, the RPMs are just too low. It lugs and lugs. And every time you go up a slight hill, and I'm talking, you see we're going up a, a slight hill. I'm talking even a more slight hill. Going 60, it drops down to 1,000 RPMs, and it just lugs like you wouldn't believe. Have to keep manually shifting. There we go. We've got a 2020. Got it. All right. So anyways, um, so yeah, another pre-plan comes along, and sure enough, it's a it's another uh, set of dropping hooks, you know, both sides. But it's uh, get over here. But it's only about uh, another 20 minutes away from my delivery, and it's going about an hour and a half away from Springfield. Um, and it's kind of north. It's kind of in an, an area where it's. Um, I don't think I'll get another load picking up out of there. I think they'll they'll say, okay, well, it's the uh, it's the fifth now, and you know you're within your time, uh, your requested time. So go ahead and deadhead that extra 90 miles into uh, Springfield and start your home time. It could change. We'll see. But uh, but yeah, so no rest. I'm gonna you know I could. I could take you know take my time because these uh, dropping hooks are all open ended, big time frames, big huge windows like all day windows. So I could rest, but at this point, any time that I'm, I mean the, the, the loads are already there, the money's already set, and these loads are paying really well by the way. Um, but it's like any any time that I take now is pretty much just going to take away from my home time. You know, if I take any time now, it just means I'm going to get to Springfield later. If I bang this out, boom, 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 then I get to Springfield earlier with no impact on the money at all. So that's what I'm doing. So I figured I'd uh, toss this quick video out here just to let you know what is going on. Um, uh, let me uh, follow up with you guys on the money stuff. Um, let's see here. I... Uh, let's start with uh, the tolls. All right, that's the Easy Pass tolls. That is unofficially resolved. I did get word back saying, "Yep, they they saw the issue. Everything's good. They have credited that money back, um, or they are going to credit this certain amount of money back." And they actually said the amount, and it was actually more than I had anticipated. So that's a good thing. Um, and uh, they say I should see that on this settlement that's coming up tomorrow. So that's good. Uh, Thermo King. Thermo King. Um, I reached out to payroll. They had not received anything yet as of yesterday. I reached. They told me to reach out to Road Assist because all that's handled through Road Assist first. Road Assist had not heard from Thermo King yet, but 
reached out to them yesterday and say that it, it's pretty likely that it'll be resolved by today and on my settlement tomorrow. So that's good. Um, and honestly, whether these hit my settlement tomorrow or the, the, the next week doesn't matter money-wise to me because I only do my finances once a month anyway. Uh, so that's not a big deal. It's just It gets it off my plate so I don't have to keep following up and worrying about it and spending my time on it. Um, so hopefully that gets, both of those get taken care of by tomorrow. The big one, Peterbilt, um, I followed up with, uh, with our Peterbilt rep on Monday as he requested, heard back from him on Tuesday. He wanted all the, he wanted copies of all the receipts for the hotels. Uh, so that's a good sign. Um, I sent those over to him. Um, haven't heard back from him since uh so i'll follow up with them today see how that's going but you know we'll we'll see that one's still uh open and uh unresolved so but it's uh getting narrowed down um other than that um let's see i think that's pretty much it um yeah that's pretty much it hopefully i'll get some home time uh, time off. I don't want to spend a lot of time there, though, man. I, I, the whole point was just to get there, pick up my mail, get that, pick up that one piece, and and hit the road again. But um, I, I haven't heard confirmation that that piece is ready yet. So I might stick around for a few more days. If I get some extra time, then uh, hopefully I'll uh, get some extra video. I know there's two videos out there you guys are waiting for. <laughs> I promise I'll get to them. I promise I will. Um, if I get some, some extra time, I'll uh, definitely get those uh, out to you guys. All right. Anyways, um, just a quick little video to let you know what's going on. I will wrap this up. And, uh, yeah, low gods are smiling. I'm happy. Uh, things are going well. I'm happy. I'm tired and worn out. Uh, but it, it's a good tired and worn out. Not, not a bad one. So, And I got that home time coming up. So all is well. Uh, thank you, everybody, for uh, for all your support, all your awesome comments. I am absolutely loving it. Uh, keep those coming. And, uh, yeah, I will get back to the question of the week and back to a more regular format uh, here as well once things uh, slow down. This is supposed to be the slow season, by the way. It is not. Man. Boom, boom, boom. I'm telling you. <laughs> I got to put that on a shirt. Boom, boom, boom. Put my uh, fleet manager's name on there or something because, uh, whoo. Slow season, my, you know what. Uh, Maybe it'll slow down later. Who knows? Uh, If it doesn't, I'm happy. I'm fine with that. Keep, Keep them loads coming. I'm good. Anyways, enough rambling. I will talk to you guys later. Thank you for watching this feature presentation from me, JJ the Trucker. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up or two. I'd appreciate it. That way I know which videos you guys are enjoying. And you know what to do now. That's right, that's right. You see it right there. Click on my face, click on my face. See what happens when you click on my face. You know you wanna. Other than that, check out some of my other videos for more great content, such as the one YouTube's recommending, the one I'm recommending, or for more free JJ the Trucker merch, check out the other video. Later.